Okay, it's time to rank another soundtrack. This time we're covering Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis. Like always, I'll just be doing the stage themes. So in this case, I'll be doing the six main zones. I decided not to include the special stage, even though it has stage in the title. It's a bonus level, and it obviously doesn't follow the same format as the regular stages. And I also did include the final zone, which is really just a boss battle. Even though it has zone in the title, like all the other zones or levels, I really saw this as its own thing too. It is an awesome theme, but I feel like it really should just be the six zones. So it's a top six countdown. I'll preface this video like I do with all the others, that this ranking is just my opinion, it's not to be taken seriously, and I encourage debate and discussion regarding your thoughts, so feel free to leave comments on your opinion of this soundtrack or my rankings below. So without any further ado, let's get on with the list. At number 6, Spring Yard Zone. It was tough to pick uh, number six here, uh, but something had to go last, and Spring Yard just kind of did by default. This was the quintessential uh, Las Vegas big band style number to accompany the pinball-ish themed stage that would go on to become more or less a staple in the Sonic series. It's pretty good. It has two very distinct sections but by comparison to the rest of them it's just a bit I don't want to say drony but it is on the simpler side and it doesn't really change up all that much aside from the fact that you've got the two very different sections each section kind of stays in one place the whole time in fact the drums are more or less staying very constant all throughout it's a good tune I like it but again, it just kind of fell into 6th place by default. Just a testament to how good the soundtrack is. Number 5, Labyrinth Zone. Like Spring Yard, this one fits the stage very well. It has a cool riff and a nice sitar sound. It sounds really good for a 16-bit system. But also like Spring Yard, it doesn't really change all that much. It gets kind of samey throughout. I guess the one thing that puts it just ahead of Spring Yard is the fact that I just plain like the riff more, and I dig the whole Eastern vibe. Number four, Starlight Zone. The arrangement is minimal. There's a lot of space where the instruments are allowed to breathe, but at the same time, it has a very full sound. I don't know, it's just written and produced so well that the balance is there. It's mainly split into two halves. The first section is so pretty that I could kiss it. And the second half maintains the atmosphere, but it has a really cool horn section. It's a saxophone of some kind. And the way it goes back and forth with the chimes, it's an interesting combination. The little dance that it does back and forth. It definitely has a different feel than the rest of the soundtrack. It's not quite as energetic and upbeat and in your face. It's in fact there's no snare drums at all. It's uh, got a I don't know kind of a bossa nova-ish beat to it. It really stands out on its own. The whole song in general. And number three, Marble Zone. One thing I like about this zone and the song is the change of pace following Green Hill. You're going from the up-tempo Green Hill, again, both the song and the stage itself, and you're coming into this more chill, but still intense marble zone. You're not speeding through the level, and the music is also slower and more deliberate. It's got a nice bass groove, cool synth sounds. I really like the keyboard solo toward the end of the loop. 
going back to the instrumentation, I really like the way the instruments blend with each other. Like I said, it's not a tempo or extremely busy per se, but there's still a lot going on here. Different sounds feeding off of each other, kind of similar to what I was saying before about the saxophone and the chimes in Starlight Zone. You've got this back and forth going on in the main verse. It's not quite as complex as a lot of Sonic songs, but it's arranged really well and very full. Number two, Green Hill Zone. Out of every song on the soundtrack, this is easily the most iconic and nostalgic. It's the first thing a lot of people hear when they first put on a Sega Genesis. There's a whole intro section that doesn't reappear in the loop. You hear it once and then never again. This is the only song in the soundtrack that does this. Not counting brief little drum fills or anything like that at startup. This is a whole full on section that is only here for the beginning. It's kind of unfortunate because it is a cool section, but you don't really miss it all that much because it leads right into that iconic main verse. And then it has a nice end section that wraps things up and brings it back into that main verse. It's the perfect first stage music. It's lively, upbeat, catchy, vibrant. It's a lot like the, you know, the background of Green Hill, which is beautiful to look at. But the music is bright and vibrant too. I'm so close to putting it at number one, but I had to go with Scrap Brain Zone for number one. It has such a haunting lead riff and tight percussion, really industrial sounding. It has a really nice breakdown that leads into the second half of the song. The only thing I don't really care for about it is the way it ends. It just kind of abruptly stops and goes into the intro. I feel like they just couldn't figure out another way to get back to it, or they ran out of time or something. I don't know, it's the one flaw, but it's that lead riff, that main riff in the main verse, and the cool percussion between the electronic sequencing in the background and those big floor toms that are banging. It's the perfect backdrop to the industrial factory setting of the stage. So that was it for the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Here's a quick recap of the list. Number six was Spring Yard Zone. Number five, Labyrinth Zone. Number four, Starlight Zone. Number three, Marble Zone. Number two, Green Hill Zone. And number one, Scrap Brain Zone. So that was the list. What were your thoughts? What did you think of the list, and what did you think of the soundtrack? Leave your comments in the comments section. That wraps up this soundtrack ranking, and we'll see you next time.